Light and electricity are considered the universal tools of the coming decades, whether in data recording, transfer, or Using a flexible and automatic layout program, these micro mirrors can be designed on a computer and optimized for the most differing applications. The computer data forms the basis for so-called masks, with which the designed structure can be transferred to a silicone chip, first through photolithography and finally through etching. As many as 1,000 scanners can fit onto a single 6-inch silicone wafer. First, a resist layer is applied. In this layer, with the help of a mask, the structures designed on the computer are exposed. After development of the resist layer, the structures are transferred onto the silicon chip with an etching process. This principle of adding and structuring layers is repeated several times in a predetermined order. In this process, standard materials are used, much like those used for the manufacture of microelectronic circuits. Metals, for example, to form the electronic connections and the highly reflective coating for the entire visible area. At the end of the process, the suspensions and the driving electrodes are created in the single crystal silicon layer. To this end, a deep etching, which reveals the mechanical structures, is carried out. But the micro mirror can oscillate in more than just one plane. The goal of the researchers was also to be able to deflect the laser beam in any possible direction. A gimbal suspension enables independent deflection of the mirror plate in the X and Y direction. Process, the individual chips are cut out of the completely processed silicone wafers. The individual chips are now ready for further processing. Beneath a stroboscopic light, fast movements, invisible for the human eye, can suddenly be seen. The tiny mirror is deflected on two different and mutually independent levels. This makes it exceedingly flexible and able to replace complex constructions usually employed to deflect laser beams.